Hi guys, Matt from 123MyIT here, and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will show you three ways to transfer data from Android to Pixel. The first way to transfer will be if you have a new Pixel phone, or a Pixel that is new to you, and you are setting it up from scratch. The second and third ways will be if you've already started using your Pixel, and you just want to transfer the data. The good thing is, it's very comprehensive, meaning you'll get all your data such as SMS messages, contacts, apps, music, photos, videos, call history, and more. Let's get started. I will factory reset this pixel to wipe any data on it, and I will set it up exactly like it was a brand new phone. If you don't want to reset your pixel, or if the phone is not new, then go ahead and fast forward to the four minute 50 mark. Cool, we now have a brand new Pixel and we'll start the setup process and transfer the data. If you have a SIM card, you can add it to your Pixel now. I don't have one, so I'll just hit skip. Make sure your old Android and your new Pixel phones are both connected to Wi-Fi and make sure they are both fully charged. When you get to the copy apps and data screen, Grab your cable that came with the Google Pixel or the cable that came with your old Android phone. If you need to, you can also use the adapter that came with the new Pixel phone. Plug the cable into both ends of each phone. Once they are plugged in, just give them a moment to detect each other. On your old Android phone, tap on copy. When prompted, just go ahead and enter in your Google account password. Cool, now you can go ahead and choose what you want to copy across. If you scroll down to the bottom and tap on learn more, it will tell you some of the data that it might not copy across. So just a good tip, something to be aware of. When you're ready, just go ahead and tap on copy. You can leave these settings on or off depending if you want them. I normally just turn them all off and I let the phone ask to turn them back on later if the phone needs to use the service. I don't need the backup right now, so I'm just gonna hit not now. And then next, set up a pin for your phone security. Set up a fingerprint if you want. I'm just gonna skip this for now. Also, it will ask you to set up face unlock. I'm just gonna skip that now and set it up later. Cool, you can see there's a message now on our old Android phone that it's finished copying. I'm just gonna go through and set up the phone as normal now. I don't want any of these apps, so I'm just gonna leave them uninstalled. Awesome, so you got this far, all your copying will be done. Some call history didn't copy across. If you get a message like that, just go in and check it when you go into the Pixel. More on how to use your Pixel, I will just tap skip. Cool, so if you swipe up now, the first thing you will notice about the Pixel is that it has the same background from the old Android phone. This is a good indication that it has copied across all your data. Let's go ahead and check and see if it copied across my photos. Okay, there is all my old photos, so it looks like the data transferred successfully. If you don't have a new Pixel, we can use a Samsung app called SmartSwitch. 
you can download the app from the Google Play Store. Smart Switch. Just go ahead and install the app, and when it's done, tap on Open. Tap on Continue, and then Continue again. Tap on Settings, and then give the Smart Switch app access. For some reason, you might have to do this twice. I don't know, just it needed to be done twice for some reason. Okay, tap on Let's Go. Go ahead and plug your phones in again. Just one quick thing to mention, if you have any dramas with the phones detecting each other, just try swapping the cable ends around to the different phone. Okay, once you've got the phones all plugged in, tap on cable and then tap to allow the old Android phone access to your Pixel phone. You will get a message to change the USB option to transfer media files MTP. Normally you can swipe down from the top and enable it, but on the Pixel for some reason you have to do it in the settings. So just go back out of there and then go into your settings. We need to also turn on developer mode and USB MTP. You can find it under settings, about phone, and then tap on the build number six times and that will turn the developer mode on. Go ahead and enter your pin. If you go back and then go into system and then go into developer options, make sure developer options is turned on along with USB debugging. Also find default USB configuration and set it to file transfer and Android auto. Now the default USB configuration is all the way down, so you'll have to scroll down a lot and there's a lot of menus in here. If it's still not detecting, try swapping the cables around. Cool, now you can see Smart Switch has popped up on the old Android phone. Just go ahead and tap it, and then tap Always. Tap on Send Data, and then if the app doesn't do anything, unplug one of the cables and plug it back in. Again, go ahead and give the old phone access. Finally, go ahead and then tap next and your files should start to copy across. Awesome, you've just copied across all your data. Go ahead and check that it's all there. Alright, if you have a really old Android device and you've had no luck transferring the data so far, the last app you can try is called Copy My Data. It's like the Smart Switch app. You can get it from the Google Play Store, but it transfers the data via wireless, not via a cable. When they are both downloaded, tap on Open to open up the app. Tap Allow Access on both phones and then there'll be a toggle switch at the top with Copy My Data beside it. Turn that on on both phones. Tap Back on both phones and then tap Allow Access on both phones. Because it's a free app, they make money through advertising. So if you get the ad pop up, just tap the Copy My Data link above the ad to remove it.
Tap next and make sure both phones are on the Wi-Fi. Tap on Wi-Fi and then tap on your Google phone and then tap on send data because we want to send data across to the Pixel phone. Go ahead and confirm the pin and then just hit next. Select the data you want to copy across and then tap next. Cool, so your file should start to transfer now. Awesome, your files have copied across. Tap on finish and then close the Copy My Data app and then check all your data has been copied across okay. Guys, I hope this was a helpful video and that you got something out of it. Please don't forget to check out my other videos such as Google Pixel 7 unboxing and do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon.